And here we are, station house number four. It's been my home for 14 years. I don't know about you, but I've never lived anywhere that long. It's the longest I've ever been anywhere. So it's kind of a second home to me, it means a lot to me. I work really hard when I'm here, so I don't have a whole lot of time to be introspective, but uh, it's a funny thing. I get emotional when I'm here and I'm not actually working. So come on inside, show you around. It looks a little bit different than it usually does, and there are fewer people. We are uh, dealing with a bit of a pandemic right now, as some of you may know. We've got Bracken Reed's office over here, Detective Murdoch's office over here, and an uh, interesting little tidbit, actually, is that I spend more time in Brackenreed's office. Um, so between takes, I set up my chair and my script and my coffee in there, and I actually spend more time there than I do in my own office. So you're getting a real behind the scenes look here. That is an automation panel that basically speaks to every light on our standing set. So everything that we use throughout the day doesn't go up and down, up and down. It actually just gets controlled from there. Um, nowadays, we have these fancy lights, which uh, Chris is using to light me right now. And they basically take the job over for all kinds of different types of lights. And, and we can basically light little nooks and crannies with them. We can use them as lightsabers and have lots of fun. Well, there you go, that's a real behind the scenes look. Oh, and also, this is what you see outside the windows of the station house. So it's not just the set itself, but it, we need to have some space and some distance. So we have the outside walls of the studio that are also made to look like 1908. So this is William and Julia's new home. They were in a hotel for a long time, but uh, thanks to a young, uh, uh, up-and-coming architect named Frank Lloyd Wright, they finally got to have their home built. Uh, obviously, this was all built by very skilled technicians on our set here, so it's a practical set. It's a little bit bigger than a normal room would be, but that was part of how Frank Lloyd Wright did things, but that also affords us some room to be able to shoot and do things. Something you may not know about this place, though, is it's actually practical in more ways. See that little crack up there? Well, crack down there, it's because this entire thing can move. Now, we've never moved it yet, but it takes too much time. But you never know, one of these days we might. All of this stuff was all made by skilled tradespeople, right down to all these little details right here on set. So it takes hundreds and hundreds of people that are very, very, very skilled to make these studios come to life, okay? All this faux stuff that doesn't just fall off the truck that way. So. Here you are, William and Julia's Frank Lloyd Wright inspired home. Yep, you guessed it, this is the morgue. This is where we unravel the mystery a lot of the time, um, do the autopsies, the chemical analysis, and all the sort of trace evidence that helps the show be what it is. It's also where you come to get ahead in showbiz. This is an award-winning set design by Sandy Cabardis. It was built from day one for the very, very beginning of the show, it was down at 629 Eastern, and it has moved four times since then, and it's now here. And I just love it in here. Um, and one of the little tiny things that uh, was added was this porthole light up here. And that used to have a tiny little bird nest there that Sandy left, but I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, if you find it, let me know. So this is another spot where we spend a lot of time. Um, we use it to supplement our studio days. We've got lots of room here. This was actually a standing back lot for way back when, I'm not sure what the shows were, but as far back as the 90s, before that it was a factory back here. But it gets changed around. There's a lot of personal touches. The sporting goods store is uh, Jordan Christensen, who is actually, uh, um, past now, but he was one of our writers. You may have seen his name in the credits. Lots of little touches like that out here. We're a big family, so we make sure to honor the people that have worked with us in the past. Uh, but it's been all hands on deck pretty much every year to upkeep, make it better, change it, improve it, create more distance, create some rooftop stuff, some ropes, some wires. It's different all the time, so it's, it's actually a lot of fun to show up to work uh, 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 in May and see the new changes. A little more of the back lot here. Um, some new sets that I've established this year, which uh, I got to direct the first two episodes. So way back there, a tiny little doorway there. 
That's Effie Newsom's new law office. So Effie is Crabtree's love interest. So we have some scenes there. And then over here on my left is Scott's Diner. So one of the things that we've had some fun doing is because of the pandemic, we're sort of mimicking people eating outside and having takeout in paper bags and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun to shoot.